paupers drop. All railcar travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn city-wide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. You stole, stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face.
played by Mr. Ryan's rules. But then he asks me to sink my own cash reserves into the banks to give Rapture some breathing room. And now, now Austin goddamn Bathysphere wants to buy me out. Decommission the entire rail. I have no family and no time for friends. I am the Atlantic Express. And this... this the monster has taken another of our children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our god. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner.
simply can't know. <laughs> Eleanor's grown now, baby snatcher. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free. by
Eleanor, Mummy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. <laughs> Mummy! Don't go! Eleanor, you are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mummy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. Another day, no clients. Atlas and Ryan start going at it hot and heavy, and all my business dries up. It used to be easy. Put the eye on some spliced up dame's wandering husband and rake in the dough. Now it's got so bad I had to put my camera in hawk at King Pawn. Makes a guy consider splicing up himself. If I had two dimes to rub together, that is. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out.
says, piss off and die. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Since you already laid your hands on a genetic research camera, this next part will be easier. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh.
Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. Sunday morning, I'll be there. You always save me from the 
has one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. Here, Father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. The bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics. Pulls their money out of the banks. A whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold. And maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor?
For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? No one ever gets any. I submit to the debates with Lamb, we defang her. I have done so. And have you been to the office drop, Bill? It's not a man. It is half dog and half devil, made by Andrew Ryan to condemn our children to a walking death. Between each song, these Zoblomovs hand out her manifesto. Her face adorns every wall. Saint Lamb. You made her, McDonough, and now you will convince the Council to sponsor her silence. to gather Adam from Lamb's followers. It's in the blood. And eventually they give themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another.
Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. so fine right now, but I can't seem to quit this grin. Dr. Lamb came to tell me that Ryan's finally gonna lock her up. It's gonna gut the believers, and I should feel the same. But Sophia remembered that I... 
that I was barren. And she asked me to take care of her baby while she's gone. Baby Eleanor Lamb. Gorgeous, clever little girl. I have a child now, and it's gonna put the whole world on right. Baby Snatcher's headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. You hurt shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my joy where I can. Sometimes I drift away and feel I'm bad about something. I inherited all of that! Your 
Drew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bump! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. spin a cocoon. It just grows armor on the inside before the change. It... Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old 
and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. I got in a fight with a dog eater today. His name is Amir, and he was picking on a smaller boy. We called a truce when his nose went red, but Mum says I'm becoming a barbarian. So I said, Eleanor, eat dog now too. Barbarian, happy. And Mum said, they only think they're happy because they're selfish and ignorant. Hmm, Eleanor, think ignorant sound like fun. Empty house, only an echo to my name, Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets, but I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. 
Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb.
By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. <laughs> 